What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Tim Stood. Population One releases some new updates in terms of the free to play and new maps and just what they're planning on doing moving forward. Now, what they're saying is that they're trying to refine the game in totality, trying to keep OG users that have been using it for the past few years and also new users, including myself, that are just new to this whole experience now that it's free because a lot of us felt like it wasn't worth that $30 USD price point. But for a free game, now the content is through the roof. They're now pushing the bundles, they're now pushing a lot more exclusivities that they can really get into. To help out enhance this game experience and more now the question is that they are trying to do is that they're trying to answer how can we keep the og satisfied and they have this battle royale update in terms of maps they felt like the, the the recent map that they do have right now the evolving map and then they have the actual classic map to really introduce all the new players the more of the fundamental and the foundational perspective of what population one necessarily is hence the one that kind of looks most like fortnite in that perspective now here's where the good stuff comes in they're saying that sandbox is gonna go into the core battle royale map they're gonna add their segments and now for sandbox devs that is huge in terms of creation because that helps out just kind of uh just thanking their og audience i think what they're doing moving forward now is population one is trying to figure out a way to thank their og players like when you see them you, you see them running around with the original banana you see them now they're gonna have that sandbox aspect in in battle royale to help uh, give them shout outs in, in terms of those locations to let people People know you know those are the people that were really in with us and i think that that's pretty cool they also talk about how they're trying to integrate a little bit more bots so that the gameplay can just level out faster and so that you can load in a lot faster and that they can actually ride in on the pods and they're going to be able to actually fight each other the bots so just to give you an overall more of a battle royale experience and so i feel like that that's pretty good i feel like that's something that they should do for sure especially since games like fortnite do that also especially in the beginning criteria when you're trying to learn the game and get familiarized with the game and the cadences and just what you're doing the rotations the map and how you do it and just what you're doing and, and and just finding your identity within the game and how you play and your structure so having those bots is going to help you out a lot for sure so what they're going to try to do with the bots is they're advancing the bots trying to get them a lot better to where they can fight each other do a lot more activity so that it could just almost look humanized at that point but going back to that battle royale few maps and they just wanted to keep the these two maps that they have now just because it's more of the relevant recent experience and then right now it was the first ever map and and so it's reintroducing the game on top of holding the retention of their OG players. And as of right now, in my opinion, I think they're doing a very good job of that aside from the initial refund. But the huge overall things for OG players is that, hey, we're brought a lot more players to the game base. It's not popular. If you're a content creator, guess what? You can make content. It's going to probably get a little bit more uh, attention towards that content. Or if you're just a gamer in general and you want to meet more people, or if you're someone that wants to mentor or and teach and consult you can help out a lot of the new players now that are coming around i think that that really does favor the og players a lot more like you already have all the knowledge you have everything about it you can teach new players new players catch on kind of fast at times you know i'm someone who's like a noob in this game but i caught on pretty solid i've already had a pretty good games where i've had a little bit more than eight kills at times and so some gamers can catch on pretty quick, especially if they already know how to play Battle Royale in general. So them bringing in that sandbox credential is going to be cool just to thank the OGs. And on top of them trying to go through bundles, on top of them trying to have Battle Royale in general, and on top of them, quote unquote, their theme of this whole storyline was that they're refining the game to just hold both types of audiences until they finally are able to mesh into one as they move forward. And I think doing that, that's the main thats the main thing now, right? That's going to be the main puzzle piece. How do we move forward and getting all of the players now together to kind of just begin, but, you know, just mesh in well together. Right now, it's still just, it's only been one week since that, that weekend launch. What they're going to do moving forward, what they're trying to do now is just keep relevancy along with OG type, you know, old school population one and i think giving that sandbox mode to kind of change up the map a little bit having the most recent map and the oldest map available on top of them offering bundles refunds and on top of them just being able to uh just kind of give shout outs more to the ogs is always the coolest thing to do in my opinion and the biggest thanks of all is always going to be the fact that the player base is going to grow substantially now because as of recent times an fps game that was free of this caliber was either pavlov shack bait on quest 2 or it was hyper on quest 2 and so this
this game being free this has to be easily the best game and i just i said that in my my previous video also this has to be easily the best game of this caliber with this type of content and that's an amazing thing so sandbox going well into the br modes that's their plan bots getting a little bit more advanced is their plan and just overall identity to mesh the actual og relevant players that know what they're doing the veterans and then the noobs that are coming in i think they're doing a very solid job right now what's next what they probably do need now are going to be multiple modes of battle royale and just modes in general of what what they can bring out maybe themes or just anything i know on halloween they did some stuff so if they can continuously bring that type of stuff i think that's really going to help us out and maybe some type of a, another creative battle royale mode kind of like how warzone does it or fortnite does it but that's what sandbox is there for right that creativity is able to go through the roof and so bringing this the sandbox aspect especially if you like playing the sandbox you're not going to see that in the actual core br map so i thought that was pretty cool they had a, a few updates on that and they still said they're really brainstorming after a week of being free to play that they've seen massive results and so man i'm excited for it y'all gotta let me know what are you excited for or if you're a veteran at pop one like what do you predict that they're gonna do moving forward and how are you liking the new players coming on board man y'all gotta let me know sub i appreciate y'all y'all have a good one peace